anything wrong. You sounded so urgent when you phoned and asked me to meet you here. Carolyn. But I asked you here. B because... Go on, Jim. I'm not very good at saying things I feel. Well, try. I I've never met anyone like you. I mean, something happens to me when I... whenever I'm with you. I mean, whenever you look at me or touch me, I feel like... like the way I'm in meant to be. The way I always want to be. But you are what you are, Jeb. Why should knowing me make you want to be different? No, Carolyn, you don't understand. See, I'm, I'm not... I'm not what I seem. There's another me, there's... one that you've never seen. And one that I don't want you to see. Jeb, look at me. I don't know what it is you're trying to say. Tell me that I love you. That I always want to be this way. I always want to be this way. And no matter what happens. What do you think might happen? I wish I could tell you. Well, I'll tell you. Nothing is going to happen to separate us ever. We're going to be together. I was growing up, I used to dream about falling in love. And I used to wonder when it would happen and how. Sometimes I would be terribly afraid it would never happen. I'll never have that fear again. Because it did happen. Soon after I met you. Jeb. I love you very much. Nothing is ever going to change that. Please. Hurry, Barnabas. Please hurry. I'm all right, I'm all right. Legs are a little shaky. Who did this to you? How did this happen? Jeb Hawks. He warned me that he had something special in mind for me. Whatever that man is, he's a man of his word. Don't talk anymore now. Go back to Collinwood. Dr. Hoffman, will take a look at you. You're still disturbed about something, aren't you? Yes. Can't you tell me what it is? No, I, I can't. Caroline, I've got to do something. Something very important. Now, will you wait here for me to come back? Where are you going? I can't tell you now, but I will. Just trust me. Please wait for me. Come down quickly. I must speak to you.
What do you want here? Dr. Hoffman, you've got to find a way of helping me. Tonight, now. Even if I were able to, I just learned that you tried to have Quentin killed tonight. I had a debt to settle with him. Fortunately, he's still alive. Look, Doctor, I don't care if he's alive or dead. But I'll tell you, there are a great many things I would change about myself. I'm willing to, to live and let live. If you'll just help me. I have no reason to believe you. Doctor, you've got to believe me. That something happened to me that made me see things differently. What happened? I don't have time to tell you that now. Just believe me that I'll be a, a changed man. Jeb. Jeb, even, even if it were possible... Doctor, it's got to be possible! Now it's got to happen tonight. Tonight? Why does it have to happen tonight? Because if it doesn't happen tonight, it's going to be too late. Too late for what? Why? Just trust me. Good evening, Carol. Mr. Blair, what are you doing here? Oh, I do wish you would insist on being so formal. Your uh, mother called me Nicholas. Well, that's my mother's business. I asked you what you're doing here. You know, Carolyn, I'm sorry that you and I have never been able to become good friends, but somehow I am confident that we very soon will be. I wouldn't count on that, Mr. Blair. Oh, but I am counting on it. You see, I know how relationships can change. And I think you do, too. Keep looking at the light, Carolyn. Find the center. The center of the light. Looking deeper and deeper until you see the center. The center of the light. I see it. Good. Then we can proceed. Take her to the shrine. Wait for me there. Barnabas? Where are you? If he isn't here, it's just as well. Quentin! You shouldn't be downstairs. I couldn't help it. I had to come down after I saw this mark on my hand. I know. I discovered one on my hand, too, earlier tonight. Now I know how you were able to find me. Had to. Oh, I think I would have died if I hadn't. Why is this happening to us? I don't know. But I don't have any desire to fight it. The only thing I care about is you. I love you. I love you too. Place the box on the altar, and then take your place beside her. Flame to summon you. I beseech all the dark creatures of nature to summon you here to me. For you must be a witness to this ceremony. You must give your blessing to these two creatures who will soon become your obedient servants. I call upon the seven plagues and upon the charred and the blackened stars that rained on my beginning to draw you from the darkness of the earth that you may witness the vows that are taken here tonight. 